Hey guys, my name is Julia and today I'm going to be filming a productive day in the life as a D1 athlete at Brown University. So if this is the first video that you're watching from me or if you didn't know this yet, I am a gymnast at Brown University and basically what that means is we have to come back to campus early because we are considered a spring sport. So since second semester doesn't technically start up until January 26th, I'm basically just serving my purpose on campus right now as an athlete and you know, you would think that would give me a lot of free time, but that is not the case. We'll fill up our days with like practices, lift workouts, team bonding events, rehab, which is like PT for us. Thankfully, today is one of my easier days. Without further ado, let's get into my productive day in the life. toothbrush because it's an electric one and I had to plug it in and charge it last night. You know what I did this morning? Forgot my toothbrush. Gosh, I'm so stupid sometimes. This camera angle is kind of weird, but whatever. And I'm going to call my mom because one, she is my emotional support system, and two, I actually need to talk to her about some things. But I would like to say that campus gets pretty dead during winter session, which we call this weird period when it's like only spring student athletes on campus. So yeah, I feel like you could imagine how quiet the campus is during this time. I mean, it's nice and all not having classes, but it, it just gets lonely, okay? It, it gets lonely, that's all. Also, I hate to admit this because for some reason I'm embarrassed about it, but I do try to preach transparency, so that's what we're gonna try to be doing today. The past couple days I've been feeling super 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 anxious don't know why it has seemed to improved as the day goes on in the mornings i've just felt like super antsy anticipating the day it almost seems to like drain everything out of me like my physical energy my mental energy hi how are you doing honey i'm good i don't know i keep waking up kind of in college it's all about just All right, so <laughs> that went south a lot faster than intended. <sighs> okay, don't worry guys, I'll be fine. This is all normal. I feel like I don't document this very much, so you guys probably don't think it's as normal as it is for me, but it's pretty normal, but it's all good. I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. All right, so something I gotta do this morning is take my COVID test. I have to do these twice a week, so I'm gonna do one today and do one later this week. They also gave us a pack of 10 KN95 masks, which is very useful because these seem to be very difficult to get your hands on nowadays. So we have one COVID testing card, one tube, and a cotton swab. So that's like considered one test. Now we're gonna do five circles on each nostril. Thankfully, I have plenty of mucus in my nose because I was just crying. Now we're gonna insert this into the solution and stir it. Said at least 15 times. I think we're good. All right, oh, camera battery is dying. Of course it's dying right now. All good. Hi, I'm back. <sighs> Okay, now we're gonna open one of these. So in here, there's like a little slot where we're supposed to add three drops. Sorry, my hands are so shaky right now because I'm very anxious. All good, all good. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna be taking my vitamins of the day. Today I just have woman's multivitamin gummies and vitamin D3. I'm also insanely pale, which is kind of upsetting to me. Like, who let that happen? Mmm, -mm. mm. delicious. Down the hatch. All right. So it's only been a few minutes, but I can see my test results starting to come in. I do have to wait 15 minutes, so I think I'm gonna go upstairs and make myself a little breakfast sandwich. I need to make myself eat too because yesterday I kind of skimped out on breakfast because I didn't feel hungry because I was super anxious, and that did not end well for me because practice was complete trash. Learn from my mistakes. I have all my ingredients in my Chamberlain coffee tote bag, and I'm also gonna be cleaning out this old shrimp fried rice that's left over in my fridge. It's been sitting there for like a week and a half. Hmm, communal kitchens. Look 
looking like I am COVID negative. Thank God. If you guys didn't know, if you were wondering why I made my breakfast instead of going to like a dining hall or something, that is because during winter session, which is like this weird period where it's only spring student athletes on campus, the dining halls actually aren't open because it's not technically considered second semester. So like nobody else is really on campus. It's only like a handful of athletes. Because of that, we get like weekly payments to buy groceries so we can cook our own food or potentially eat out if you want to, but that gets pretty expensive pretty fast. Might I also say that doing groceries for one person is extremely difficult. I'm so used to going grocery shopping with my mom, which is when we shop for a family of four. And I accidentally bought way too much food for myself. Like I have enough food in my fridge probably for a solid two weeks, but I only really need to feed myself for another three days or two days or something like that before the dining hall start opening up again. While I'm eating my lovely breakfast sandwich, I'm going to be walking guys through my practice schedule for today because I'm technically not supposed to be filming during practices or anything. So I'm just going to tell you about it. I know that's not ideal, but unfortunately it's the way that it is. It's currently 10, 10 and I've practiced this morning at 11 and practice runs from 11 to 2 and then from 2 to 3 we're supposed to eat like a lunch or like a snack in between there because we have rehab at 4. So rehab can run anywhere from 30 minutes to like an hour and a half depending on how much work our athletic trainer wants to do on us. We have a team of 23 girls and nearly every single one needs rehab depending on what you need done that day and how many girls are in. Rehab can run for a pretty long time. Mm. My breakfast sandwich is very good this morning. Okay, now I have to change into a gym fit because this is not gonna cut it. All right, it's the gym fit of the day, the GFOTD. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna head out to the gym now and I will see you later today. We got this. It's 6.18. I don't even know where to start. Okay, um, I'm gonna sit down because I'm tired and my legs hurt. So basically what I got done today, if you guys even care, I got my ankles decrunched. We call it decrunched. It's basically when she like sits there and like yanks on her ankles and like loosens the joints because sometimes when we tumble it, like everything gets compressed and it hurts and ah pain she also cupped my back oh my gosh this hurts so bad i thought it was just gonna be the regular cupping where like you know she puts the cups on and i sit there for a bit and then i stretch a little bit with the cups on then she just pops them off no she took the cups and started dragging them up and down my back oh my gosh it hurts so bad i almost started crying on the table i mean my back does feel looser but now i got some nasty looking like bruises on my back update from like this morning like mentally doing a lot better i always end up feeling better when i like get out and end up working working out or seeing other people. I don't know. I just, I feel like I get trapped in like a mental slump and it's like, I get so anxious cause like I can't stop thinking about the same exact things on repeat or like getting paranoid about certain things or like thinking that everybody hates me. As you can see, I just got out of the shower and I wanna go make dinner, but I was looking under my desk and I was greeted by a few too many smart food kernels and pieces of smart food and food crumbs underneath my desk that clearly need to be vacuumed. Dinner time. I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself some dinner. So it's on the dinner menu. You know what? Don't make fun of me. I don't want to hear it. I'm working with a very limited mental capacity and cooking facilities. Very proud of what I pulled together. Here's a little bit of a dinner haul for y'all. For tonight, we have slightly burnt eggs, some shrimp, and some rice, two bottles of half full water, and I'd like to talk about my recent obsession with applesauce. So basically, I went to Whole Foods and got these Santa Cruz organic applesauces. Oh my gosh, game changer. Out of this world's good. This is my dessert. And then for my second dessert, we have Mott's, no sugar added, applesauce, strawberry flavored, which are also very good. While I eat, I thought it would be a fun thing for me to just talk about life updates and random things. I don't know, whatever comes to mind. I guess first things first. Mmm. First things first is, I am an amazing chef. Just kidding. I know I put in like the bare minimum effort-wise for this, but I'm very proud of myself. Let's just address the elephant in the room. We hit 200K, guys. Literally out of nowhere. I don't even know what to say. Thank you? Like, 
I swear, just the other day, I was at like 160. And then out of nowhere, we just had so many new people join the fam. And I'm so happy. Welcome to all of you newcomers. And thank you to all the people that have been here from the beginning. I love every single one of you guys so much. And I don't know. All I can say is that I'm feeling really grateful. I also want to talk about these things, okay? These are my newfound love. They are Birkenstock clogs with like fur on the inside. And oh my gosh, I am obsessed with these shoes. So basically, in the fall, I saw one of my teammates wearing them in this like burnt orange color. And I was like, I need those. They're almost like ugly. They are ugly, okay? But like very gorgeous to me. They're so comfy. They have like arch supports inside of them. Would highly recommend. I would also like to kindly ask y'all for some body lotion recommendations, but hear me out. I have very picky preferences when it comes to body lotion. I basically want a body lotion that is very hydrating, not greasy, not super thick and sticky and like oily. Comment your go-to faves down below because I, I need recommendations because we have entered that point, you know, the January through probably about March where my legs get insanely dry and nothing can help them. Doesn't matter, I can exfoliate and apply lotion all I want. Nothing seems to be helping. I look like I have like little fish scales on my legs because they're so dry and cracking. And Also, can we talk about how this weekend is going to be my very first college gymnastics meet? That's crazy. The team actually started competing about two weeks ago, but I was not able to attend because I had COVID, but we're back, we're better than ever. UNC is kind of a big meet for me to have my debut, but it is what it is and it's gonna be just fine. We're going on Thursday morning and we're coming back, I think like Sunday night or something. So we are gonna have an extra like two days to have some like team bonding events and explore North Carolina. And I'm so excited. I wanna start packing tonight. One of our teammates just sent out a packing list. So I think it's a good idea for me to kind of get ahead on that. So I'm not like stressed out tomorrow and then end up forgetting something. So yeah. All right, so my teammate was kind enough to put together this little travel checklist for us. So I'm just gonna follow it and start putting things aside to pack. Okay, so I gathered all the clothes and gear that I strictly need for the gymnastics part of the trip. I obviously still have to pack other things, but these are all the things I absolutely need to bring with me, so I'm glad that I put them aside. All right, so the last thing that I wanted to do tonight was paint my nails. I need to trim them and repaint them because as you can see, they're getting kind of long and they're really chipping. And you know, I just want some fresh, cute, nice nails uh, for the meet this weekend. Oh. I pretty much finished everything that I wanted to do today. I must say, as kind of a final conclusion of this video, I'm really proud of how I picked myself up after this morning and finished my day, persevered through, and here we are. Doing good, a lot calmer than this morning. I guess moral of the story is, it's okay to have breakdowns. It's okay to be going through rough times, but you will get through it. You're gonna be okay, I promise. You are strong enough to get through this, blah, blah, blah. Motivational speaking. But anyway, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video, and also thank you for being so patient with me while I am working and trying my best to keep pushing new content out for you guys. I just want to say that I love every single one of you guys so, so, so much, and I'm beyond grateful for you. I'll be sure to see you all in the future, hopefully next week, but definitely in the future. Bye, guys.